this is how you work with the eraser tool in Adobe Illustrator. So we're gonna go to our handy dandy rectangle and click and drag this out. Um, we can change the fill color if we want. I'm gonna change it to a, let me change it to a red. All right. Now, sometimes we wanna delete portions of a fill or <clears throat> a stroke, whatever the case may be. And just like when you're drawing something on a piece of paper, a lot of the times you use the eraser if you either have a mistake or you wanna edit something. So that's basically your saving grace. So in here, in Illustrator, we're gonna to go to our panel, tools panel, and we'll go about halfway down. And you'll notice the eraser tool. And if you click that, and you click on your board, you'll notice that as soon as you start to hit your shape, it'll start to break your shape apart, even to the point where it'll split it if you go from one endpoint to another. As soon as you let go, now you have two different shapes. Now you have the left side and your right side as a shape, and you can also select your eraser tool again, and you can click and Go over this shape again, and now you have four shapes. Now, another trick, if you don't want to erase other items, is you select the item that you want the eraser tool to work on. And if you were to click, it's gonna edit through this item, but you'll notice as you let it go, it won't actually affect any of the other items. It'll only affect the selected item. So no matter how wild and crazy you go over this. It'll only edit the portion that's selected. And that's how you work with the eraser tool in Adobe Illustrator.